Well, hello there. What's up, dudes? Welcome back to Atlas Horizon. I am Steven Thomas, and today we're going to showcase what we've been building so far. This is an update on our Castle Island build. We've been doing some live streaming of this, and yes, I am wearing flippers. Because a knight wearing flippers, that's the only thing that can make sense when you have a castle out in the middle of the ocean. I'm pretty sure it's an ocean. I don't know if it's a lake or not. Let's go check it out. So first off, I'd like to say this. I wanted to try and build the castle out even further, but there's a height limitation on how much you can build upwards. And because the ocean does drop down lower and lower, it got to a certain point where if I wanted it to be above the water, it's just not going to work. Especially because there's different areas that go different depths. So this was pretty much the best location that I could find for this map. We have a Alpha T-Rex over there, a nice little side boat. And I do have an entryway set up at the moment for this. This is all still in development, so bear with me. But we've got castle walls set up. I'm starting to add in some of these pillar sections. I'm having those drop down for decoration. I don't know if I should extend them a second level or just keep them on that distance. You notice I've only done half that side just so that I can compare and contrast. And I'd like to get feedback from you guys in the community as well. But you come in, I've used thatch ceiling for this, and I painted it red, so it gives off the impression like it's red carpet. And we're going to add in some more of these prizes, or sorry, trophies, into next to the pillar section when you come in here like this. And you end up coming all the way to the kingdom throne. I added stained glass windows. I paneled them off like this just so it gives off a little bit more of that stained glass feel. I kind of wish that these corner sections would be smaller instead of so big like that. But you can take a look outside here and see the, all the ocean. You can see an island over there. And the light sh does shine in. And I think it gives off a really good impression for the king. And the kingdom and his throne. So if he sat down here, this is what he would end up seeing. You'd have all the knights alongside the pillars. Or whoever it is that is kneeling before their king. And this kingdom. Whoa! I thought it was zoomed out there for a second, but nope. So this is our throne. Unfortunately, you can't make a bigger chair. <laughs> so it's kind of a lonely throne, but it's still a throne. It's the only chair in the entire land, so uh, it's still a very good kingdom. Next up is we got our pool. Can't have a good kingdom without a pool, right? So you got a little ladder that hops down there. You could hop in the water. Swim around just a bit. You can see a little bit of the throne. See a little bit outside there. This is a bit secluded off. Have this nice little under area as well. I thought about possibly making it glass for the ceiling part of this. But I kind of like the fact that you could hide a little bit. I don't know. If I had a pool... And I was in a castle like this. I feel like I would put something like that in. I could still breathe just fine. That's not the issue. Let's head on up. Oop, let's head on up. Thank you. And next up is our other levels we have start building. Come on in here. We have doors. That way then, it's kind of like this. You walk on up. Can't see anything. Ta-da! Then you can see up inside here. And... That's unfortunate, but I can't do anything about that. That's actually part of the staircase. It cuts down into the uh, ceiling. I wish that they would just flatten that part out, but it is what it is for now. These are the ceiling... Uh, sorry, these are the stone pillars that are part of our hallway system down below. And you can see those popped up here. I did really well with flattening them out on the outside sections, so you don't really see them. I... I think I can actually do the same approach from up here, so I, I might be able to clean that up. You come up here and it looks pretty much flat the entire way. And this will be a room. I am considering sectioning it off with different walls, so you have different places that you could go. But next up, second level, same thing, more areas, spaces that you can go, lots of possibilities there. Head up, third level. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but the rooms are actually getting smaller and smaller. And then, finally, we come up into our main area. This is more the area where, if we're going to have battles, we want to build some things. You have your refining forge, you got your smithy, you've got your fabricator. 
all the tools you really need to get some of your main objective stuff going on. I also added in a little door system here instead of having to go all the way up there because that's the upper deck area. If you want to go to a lower deck area, you can come out here and see what it is that's going on. And I feel this has a pretty good view of everything. A little bit hard for me to try and get a good camera angle with this. So we're going to stick with this point of view for now. What I'm trying to do, and it's a little bit hard, I'm going to be trying to work with some people and see if I can smooth this out a little bit. But you notice that this corner section comes out. I'm trying to get this more smoothly rounded out, but you would have a ladder. You can take the ladder. Take the ladder. Thank you. You could either hop out at this level, or you could hop out all the way down to the bottom level here. Well, it's technically not the very bottom level, but it's pretty darn close to it. And I think I just need to add a hole in there if I can't even do so. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that, actually. This is my first impressions for you guys. So then you can come down to the second level there, hopefully. Otherwise, this is still pretty good. And we do have our... I forgot what this is called. Ballista. That's right. Ballista. <laughs> Being stupid. So you can hop on here. This one doesn't have anything loaded up on it yet. And that's actually one of our tribe members. He's been building that base over there. And uh, yeah, I have another little toy that I could show you guys. Let's head on back. I want to have this corner section be over there as well, and then I'm considering just putting that up on the very top. So you could technically climb up like this, and then hop on top of the ballista and be able to fire from here. And because it's a higher elevation, it should do a bit more damage. Now let's go ahead and head up to the top. You'll notice I also have the windows added there. Uh, oh, I didn't realize that I had one glass panel just sticking out like that. I'm going to have to remove that. Flat land all up in here. Get a great view up at the top of this. I really like this view. But then we have a catapult. This is my favorite toy. We get to... I don't think it'll hit. <laughs> yeah, see, we're just a little bit off. Can almost hit him, but not quite. He built it just far enough away to be safe. That is so close. One more shot. We'll give it one more. Ugh. <laughs> I can almost hit that corner. We'll have to try it again some other time. And that's pretty much it for this episode so far. Um, let me go ahead and... Do my nice little command here. Oop, nope, wrong. Wrong button. Do our nice little command here so I could give you guys an aerial view. Let me know if you guys have any fun suggestion ideas to add to this build or to adjust things. This is my first real castle build. And I think it's turning out pretty well. Sorry for that noise pop up here. I'm, I'm getting message on Skype at the moment. Wow, I'm getting messaged a lot more than I thought I would. <laughs> I thought the person was just going to message me like one message. But yeah, anyhow, that's my first castle design that I'm starting to do. Hopefully I can get that corner section figured out. I may be able to extend it up a little bit higher as well. I think that adds a little bit more personality to it instead of just being this flat corner section. You notice that the dividers as well, I do plan on extending that all the way around. Right now I just have it on the face front as well as some of these other parts. And... Yeah, that does it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to, to drop a like on that video. I'd love to get your thoughts in the comments down below. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you guys later.